Charles the Monarch, the unusual looking dog. He's got a haircut that, well, it set off a frenzy of 911 calls, people claiming a lion was on the prowl. <laughs> now Charles has gone viral online. We're gonna meet him live right here at GMA in just a moment, but first, a look at his story. 911, where is your emergency? I'm driving down Granby Street right before the zoo. And there was a lion that ran across the street, a baby lion. A lion on the loose? Frantic 911 calls flooding the Norfolk Emergency Operations Center in Virginia on Tuesday with rare and frightening sightings. And I just saw an animal that looked like a small lion. One call after another. And they had the mange and everything. I just saw a baby lion. I thought to myself, well, this is going to be a very interesting day. Obviously, we were on alert and we wanted to be sure that there was no wild animal or no animal on the streets. Norfolk police put in a call to the local zoo to make sure one of its lions hadn't made a daring escape. The zoo said all of our lions are accounted for. They are where they should be. But it turns out it wasn't the king of the jungle on the loose. No, it was this particularly quaffed three-year-old labradoodle, Charles the Monarch, who happens to be a very popular pup. I'll have to make everybody's tailgate party with Charles. He's a big hit. Now, this king of canines has gone viral. This morning, Charles has more than 11,000 likes on his Facebook page. His gleeful grin splashed all across the internet, leading him to ask one of his hundreds of new Twitter followers, can I give you my pawtograph? We need the ding for that one. But there he is, Charles the Monarch, live in the studio along with his owner, Daniel Painter, and his daughter, Natalie. We welcome you all to Good Morning America. Thank you. Thank what you. a good boy he is. You are really enjoying this fame, I think. I think he knows he's famous. <laughs> Daniel, you actually cut him to look like a lion. Yes, my daughter was going to school at Old Dominion University and their mascot is a lion. And so when he grew as a puppy, his hair was just really full. And so I, without telling nobody, I kind of took him to the dog care place and told him I wanted to shave like a lion and they couldn't believe it. So I told him what to shave. And so and my daughter at the time said it's about the dumbest thing I've ever done, but then he turned famous like overnight. So now it's her dog again. Yeah, he's actually, he's actually really famous. He gets requests to go to the tailgates at oh, yeah. Old Dominion University. Yeah. Yeah. We tailgate in the football teams uh, for football and we got to go to everybody's tailgate if we miss somebody's tailgate they get mad and they get a hold of me and say you got to get back to over ours so. so what kind of a dog is he at home well we tell everybody he's a lab a lion a but, lab -a -lion. but actually the lab a doodle <laughs> and is he uh is he talented does he do tricks uh he does what he's told to do he's, he's casual he's laid back and he does whatever he needs to. He doesn't look very ferocious at all. We just want to say, put it out <laughs> no. there right now in Good Morning America. Save the 911 calls. Here's the lion, and he's safe. Thank you both so much for being here. Yeah. Uh -huh. give, give five. Can give, give a shake. Pound it. All right.